this will create a rounded rectangle it looks like a previous youtube button but it has changed hello everyone in this video we will create a new text and make it size of 100 and uh, press f2 and rename the text so i will call it uh, slug or anything else and bring it down now if i make a base and uh, take it back make it 900 and uh, put the text on top of it change the rectangles color to red so that we can see now we can create the lower third or slug we can we can translate the slug band from left or right or bottom i will use bottom now i want the rectangle to appear first then the text first of all i'll rename it so I have to i'll rename it to rect face and uh, after the frame number 10 i will select and uh, apply the keyframes to it press f2 and uh, rename it to rect face okay now select the slug come to frame 15 and turn on the auto key press the visibility key once then again so it will create the visibility on the track now come to frame one and change the visibility first frame to zero it is looking like this i want the base to appear first then the text currently both appearing at the same time what i will do is i will select the slug and move its track to frame 10 or 15 or so it will appear after the slug comes out so this is the text and uh, slug we can also make the text bounded so it won't spill the data as if i will type here copy it twice okay now you see it's uh, over spilling or overflowing from left and right so what we can do is uh, we add the bounded text and uh, this is our bounded rectangle match the rectangle to the size of the band increase its width so as you know we have more text and uh, this is not showing all of it we can change the action on overflow to fit round up all the text but it will not reduce the text size if you choose proportional fit it will reduce the text size as well as put extra lines if required so if we put 100 here and reduce the text the text size should automatically increase and adjust to the frame of bounded box now we can see it's uh, like text but now we can uh, play and see what it's doing and uh, i think we should uh, also apply the type effect on the text so select the text click uh, auto key on and come back to the character effects and uh, turn on transform local and uh, apply overlap to it and press ok this will create the key at the frame 12 and by default if the track does not have any key it will also create a key at frame 0 so you will have to delete it otherwise uh, your track will look like it is starting from the 0 so you can select and delete it come to the frame 27 and uh, do the same to it okay now it's starting to look like it's typing okay we can increase the typing duration so it will feel more real so you can see we have made a subscribe button we can also make a rounded rectangle by going here and putting the radius of all four sides and using these segments uh, we have to use 50 I think for it, for it and increase the segment to 1 to 5 this will create a rounded rectangle it looks like a previous YouTube button but it has changed so we will change it from here we can change the background color and uh, text I think text is uh, black now these days so we can go to the material and change the color from here and turn on the front so it is subscribe anyways please subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you